when I was offered Satyam Shivam Sundaram, I was uh, just about 10. I didn't know Raj Kapoor as a filmmaker, as a director. I knew him as a star. So I was obviously excited. I mean, I'm doing a film with, you know, Raj Kapoor and all that. But my parents were most thrilled, you know. I mean, they felt that, you know, they made me realize what a great director he is, what a great maker, and what great films he's made and all that. And, um, of course, he didn't take any screen test. But he made me wear, you know, baby Nas's uh, costume, I think, from boot polish or something. I'm not too sure. He made me walk up and down and see, you know, whether, I mean, how I look in that uh, get up. The, some people who were sort of against it, like they thought I was a bit too big for that role. They wanted someone younger, about eight, nine years old. But he was sure. He said, no, this is it. I want her. I mean, he didn't take any screen test. You know, it was really surprising. He had taken quite a few child stars, child artists uh, screen tests in those days. Like he was looking for baby Rupa. And uh, when I was signed for that film, you know, the, the amount of uh, publicity and, you know, he gave me, like, discovered baby Rupa and all that, baby Padmini and all that. It was really thrilling. I mean, I was really excited. And uh, even sort of uh, during the recording of uh, Satyam Shivam Sundaram, Yashomati Mayase, he made sure that I, you know, go there. And uh, of course, Lata Mangeshkar was the singer. And she made me sit beside her and she said, you know, how would you sing if you had to sing this song? Because she had to sing it in a real baby tone and all that. So I just sang it out and all and you know she tried to imitate me and all and Raj uncle made me garland her and all you know he really made me feel wanted you know he really made me feel good and when I started shooting for the film I realized like what a great director he he was and uh, that's it uh, what about that song uh, sequence where you get burnt how was that done <laughs> that was not hot water and all. I mean, he explained to me the whole thing. But, I mean, initially I was scared. I said, oh God, you know, imagine hot water coming on my face and all. So, um, uh, he, it was just cold water and uh, dry ice. And of course, they were taken in different shots and all. So, there was not much of a problem. And as far as I remember, he had got someone from abroad, you know, to do that, that particular scene. But I vaguely remember that scene, you know. It wasn't much of a problem doing that scene. Just, you know, putting on that mask, I mean, that, you know, burnt patch here and all that would irritate me, you know. That's it. Did he treat you as a kid or as, a, as an adult? Well, no, as a kid. As a kid, always. I mean, even during Prem Rogue, he always treated me as a kid. <laughs> what do you think of Prem Rogue? Prem Rogue has so far been my best movie, my best role, and... I was really, really fortunate to have got that film. After Satyam Shivam Sundaram, I did a couple of films and all. And when I realized what acting was and all, I said, oh God, I said, I must do one more film with him, you know. Because he, he was such a good director. I and mean, I just can't tell you, I mean, the way he would explain and the way, you know, he'd conceive each shot and everything. I was really lucky to do Prem Rogue. How would he give you instructions to act? He wouldn't really, you know, stand up and show and, you know, perform and things like that. Like, I want it this way and all. He'd really give me full liberty. He'd say, he'd just say what he wanted and he'd say, okay, do it your way. And if he liked it, I mean, he didn't say like, okay, this is, this is it. And he'd say take or whatever. And uh, I felt very comfortable doing that film. I had my heart and soul in that film, really. Would he let you improvise? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. But he'd ask me. He says, he'd say, I mean, you think you can give a better take? If I say yes, then he'd say, okay, we'll try one now. And if no, then that's it. What about the hair cutting scene? How difficult or easy mm. was that? That was supposed to be the most dramatic scene, the hair cutting one. No? Um, actually, uh, it was very emotional, the whole scene, like uh, 
that's when she realizes she's become a widow and she can't, uh, you know, she'll have to cut her hair and she, no more, uh, you know, fancy shoes and no more fancy clothes and everything. And actually the scene was taken in such a way that it was so emotional and so dramatic, you know. Did you give many takes for it? No, <laughs> no, not as far as I remember. Achha, what about that song, Ye Galiya, Ye Chawara? Would you like to talk about that? Yeah, uh, I remember Raj Uncle saying that this song is such, like, you have to really, you have to be bright, you have to smile and laugh and sing and all, and you have to make the audience cry, you know? And I said, God, how is that possible? I mean, me laughing and singing and dancing away, and how will the audience cry? The lyrics and all were so, you know, convincing, and the way he had taken it, it was really good. I mean, uh, it really proved <laughs> that most of them said that that song really cried, and we really this, and we really that, and I was... Name the song. Ye Galiya Ye Chawara. Can you hum it? Um... ये गलियां ये चौबारा यहाँ आना ना दोबारा अब हम तो भए परदेसी के तेरा यहाँ कोई नहीं के तेरा यहाँ कोई नहीं This is it. Did he ever make you cry? Oh. Not otherwise, not really, <laughs> but uh, I would always use glycerine. I mean, he never, uh, he never said that, you know, I want real tears or anything of that sort. But I remember one scene, uh, you know, in which Tanuja sort of, she gives me the keys and all that. And she says, you have to manage the house and you have to manage everything and all. And I tell her, you know, I say, Ki, ab mujhse ye sab sambhala nahi jayega and all. And, you know, please don't do this to me and all. Uh, that, that particular scene was conceived so beautifully and it was a long shot. I got so carried away, I mean, I got so involved that I, you know, literally started crying and, you know, even after the shot was cut, I mean, I was literally, you know, sobbing, I got so carried away. Uh, that's one scene I remember and even the rape scene was so beautiful, you know, of Prem Rogue. Um, one or two shots in uh, that rape scene also, I started crying and all. And uh, that's it. Just was he very demanding of an actress? Total commitment, total attention? Oh, yes. He was, I mean, one thing he said, you know, like when he always felt like during work, it should be work. No other activities, nothing, nothing. But he never made uh, his artists feel uncomfortable, you know. Others, you know, one would get so nervous, like, oh God, like he's shouting and he's screaming and what to do and, you know. And if you give too many retakes, again, you get nervous, you don't know what to do. But nothing of that sort. He'd make you feel so comfortable. Do you think we'll ever have another director like him? Impossible. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think... I mean, uh, he's been the best maker so far and I don't think we'll ever, the industry will ever produce another Raj Kapoor.